Even before the calls for help rang out this afternoon, heavy black smoke could be seen pouring out of the landmark Sears Roebuck building on Roosevelt Boulevard. I was riding on my block and I saw all this big smoke. But I thought maybe they I thought maybe they blew it up. I'm any more afraid of a collapse than anything else. Officials say a spark from a demolition worker's torch ignited the fire. Ironically, it would have been only a slightly premature death to this 1920 landmark building, which is slated to be demolished to make room for a shopping center. I was hoping to go out in the explosion, you know, at least that's a fitting end. I hope it don't burn down. It just seems like whenever they're vacant, they always seem to go. Everybody in my family worked on. To many, being snuffed out seemed an inappropriate end to a building that employed so many generations of families and became part of the neighborhood. Uh, my mom worked here as a kid, my aunt worked here. Everybody in my family's got stock in it. Well, stock in Sears and Roebuck. And you know, Sears was always a landmark to us. If you ever wanted to describe where you lived, you always said Sears on the boulevard. See, they almost got it out. Firefighters at the fire. However, the Sears building is still scheduled to go out in a bang against the wishes of residents and former workers. It's a shame. <laughs> this building's been here all of my life, man. It's going down. <laughs>